Hi, this is Jay from Encoding, and in this video we're going to show you a real quick way of creating trigger, trigger conditions, if I can say it, uh, with getting Power Automate to do all the difficult work for you so that you don't have to handcraft them, which can be a little bit tricky. So, let's have a look at this flow. We've got uh, a SharePoint trigger action that says when a file is created, go and get that file from SharePoint, let's OCR it, and then let's uh, update the original source file. Now, all this is very good. If I go to SharePoint and let's, well actually before I do that, let's, let's put it into test and say let's manually start this and I'm going to show you a potential problem we've got with this flow, which is a fairly obvious one, that if I send in a non-PDF document, then in essence my flow is going to fail because the OCR a PDF document action, uh, that's going to, let's just shortcut that and get back into it. Is going, to, is going to fail because it's expecting a PDF document. So the error that's come back is a 400, which is a bad, bad request error. And it's saying, please provide a valid PDF document. So I need to, I, I need to find a way to, to, to fix this issue. Now, what we could do, of course, is we could add a condition to the actual flow itself to say, if the file name that's, of the file that's triggered the, triggered the flow ends with PDF, then, then perform it if not so really quickly, I can quickly show you to do that if that's what you wanted to do. So let's just add a condition in. Come on, Power Automate. And what we'll say is if the, apologies, file name with extension is ends with PDF, then perform these steps. Now, this works, uh, and this would fix that problem, and I could rerun this flow, and in, in, in actual fact, that will work. But I don't really want to be running these two actions and retrieving a file every time to then, you know, I could drop get file content down, admittedly, into OCR or PDF, but I'm still running logic and, and executing these flows. What we really want to do is stop them from firing. So what we can do is I'll just drop these back out, and I'll just get rid of this condition, simplify this flow. What I want to do is I want to put a trigger condition on the, uh, the flow itself. So if we go on the trigger, so if we go to settings, I've got this option here of adding a trigger condition. Now, it's asking for an expression, and they're not the easiest things to, to write freehand. They can be a little bit tricky, especially if you've got more than one that you need to create. So a real quick way of being able to do this is, and what we tend to do, is we'll add a filter action. And it says filter array, don't be tempted to put something in here. All we're going to do is we're going to click and choose a value and we're going to build our expression in. So we're interested in the file name. So file name with extension. And we want to say ends with PDF. Okay. Now, if I click edit in advanced mode, that is my expression. So I don't need to hand craft it because I can build it. Uh, using the UI and then I can click edit in advanced mode and that gives me the trigger condition that I want. So I'm going to do control copy, I can get rid of this now, delete, okay, and I'm just going to go into the settings again, so apologies, and I'm going to scroll down to the trigger conditions, I'm going to add one in. So now what should happen if I just save this, if there's any issues when you say with the trigger conditions, normally Power Automate will tell you there's a problem, but that should all be fine once that's saved. So it's ready to test. Now what I would say with trigger conditions, doing it with sort of a manual test sometimes throws up some weird errors. So the best way to test it in this example is actually to throw the documents in themselves. So I'm just gonna go into here and I'm gonna remove my document and I'm gonna fire this for real. So that flow is now is now running uh, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just trigger it as if I was, uh, in a real-world scenario. So I'm going to drag two documents in, the PDF document and the presentation file. So those files have been uploaded. Now what we should see in the run history is that the flow is only triggered once and that should only be triggered for the demo document 1.pdf. So I'm just going to go back into my run history here and we can see the last one that, that failed three minutes ago. But let's just wait a moment and wait for that to manually, uh, manually fire. So let's see that, we can see that one is now triggered a few seconds ago and we can see that the last, the last one. So we can see instantly that the last, although I added two documents, actually only one of the flows was triggered. So if I can click on that and you can see that that flow is run successfully. So the document was OCR'd and it was updated in SharePoint. So again, just to recap, if you need to create those trigger conditions, just add the filter 
action to your array, and then you can basically just choose the properties is equal to um, encodian, and then you can click edit in advanced mode, and there you can add that trigger, trigger condition to your trigger. Um, if, what I would suggest if you have any issues, um, obviously if you're using encodian actions and you've got issues with encodian actions, feel free to contact encodian support. But also, don't forget to use the Power Automate community. There's thousands of professionals across the world that uh, are active in that forum and can help you with any issues specifically you've got with Power Automate.